In today's lunch break, we have a fun, family-friendly, and festive Halloween dinner. Chef and owner of Geneva's Foxfire and Copper Fox, Casey Gulbro, joins us with jack-o'-lantern stuffed peppers. Such a cute idea. Yeah, great idea for the kids, especially on if it's cold this Halloween, something they can come back and warm up to when they're done getting their candies and their treats. Yeah, exactly. And super simple for moms and dads. Right. So first, before we get to the recipe, I want to talk a little bit about the restaurants. You've got an event space and a restaurant there, right? Yes. Yeah, we have Foxfire, which is actually the uh, Certified Angus Beef Steakhouse of the Year in 2023. Oh, congratulations. Between, yeah, just we rewarded that last month. Steaks, chops, and seafood. Oh, and some then, beautiful pictures yeah. of, of some of the dishes there. That's our Pittsburgh ribeye and our wonderful pork chops, and that's our Cajun surf and turf. Uh, we also have a great event space called the Copper Fox. We do a lot of events there. Actually, this thir Friday, we're doing a murder mystery dinner. Oh, and uh, next Thursday, we're doing a Day of the Dead dinner. I so, saw that. That yeah. sounds I, super festive. Again, mm -hmm. just like your recipe for today. Yeah. All right, let's start. You know, what kids don't like mac and cheese, right? Of so course. you do your version of mac and cheese. Here, yeah. we're looking at some of the inside pictures there. Um, so, yeah, so let's get to the recipe. Yeah, so we have our kids' mac and cheese. This is something we serve at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with our cream. We do with heavy cream. Get that up and hot so it's going to be able to melt the cheeses. We're going to start with a little bit of cream cheese. Philadelphia cream cheese works. Oh. This is a nice recipe because um, it keeps out the, if you are, allergic to gluten or flour. If we had a flourless pasta, we wouldn't be adding any roux or anything to make a bechamel right. uh, thick. So we're going to add our... The cream cheese kind of thickens it up. Yeah, what a great idea. I've never done that. Up. We're going to let that melt up. We're going to actually turn this up just a little bit. There we go. Get that to melt it. We're going to add a little bit of cheddar cheese to that as well. And I'm stirring it as it goes. Try to get it, incorporate everything to it. Sure. And then we're going to add our cheddar or American cheese as well. And that, like, nice melted cheeses makes it ooh and gooey. This is a good base cheese, uh, mac and cheese. So if you want to make it more adult fun, you could always add a little Gruyere, uh, oh, add a little nice. lobster meat, make it a little stuffed yeah, mac so and cheese. Yeah, spices in there. Right? Oh, yeah. I like doing a little uh, taco meat as well. Oh. Get a little taco festivities. And then, again, if they're allergic to dairy, maybe you use a little spaghetti sauce. And add a little spaghetti sauce to your pasta. Oh, right. And then it's a nice little stuffed pepper. Yeah. I feel like the possibilities are endless, right? Yeah, they you can are. just use your creativity. Mm hmm. Although this is definitely a crowd place. Oh, right? yeah. The we kids say love kids this. love the mac and cheese. Let's face it, we adults do too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this is a nice recipe, too, with the peppers. You kind of introduce your kids to uh, eating vegetables. Right. A little bit of cheese covered vegetables is always a good way. And well, they're that's colorful, which I, they say we eat with our eyes, right? They're colorful and fun. Yeah. Now, while that's melting, I'm just going to easy carve up. You can get your kit at your local grocery store. It's just a pumpkin kit. Right. Nice little knife. The kids can use this too if you'd like, but we're just going to cut a simple triangle in each eye. And as the cheese is melting, we'll poke that through. I know. A lot easier and faster than carving your pumpkin, oh, I'll yeah. say. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we also, we cut it out at the top, took the seeds out just so we keep, keep it friendly for TV. Sure. <laughs> so this is going to pop out. Just get the two eyes. And then but you just want that mouth. for the recipe as well, right? You, you yeah. want all the guts out of it. Oh, yeah. You want all the guts out of it. Okay. Especially uh, you don't want any seeds in your mac and cheese. Sure. So just cut a little mouth. It's very easy, very quick. Aw, and So you can smile, all that nice, fun stuff. The cheese is pretty much incorporated. Now we're just going to pour it. Marry that with the pasta, yeah, right? Yeah, marry it with the pasta. Okay. So get that in there. Nice and gooey. And nice thing, too, you can par-bake your pasta earlier. That way, when you're out trick-or-treating or anything like that, it's quick and simple. Right. You don't have to wait 15 minutes for the pasta to boil. Sure. All right. So that is going to get nice and gooey. As you can see, it's got a nice color to it. It's not too offensive for the kids. Um, it's not your Kraft mac and cheese, box mac and cheese. Yeah, yes. <laughs> it's not your Velveeta, which you don't know what's in it. I'm going to turn that off for you. And it's just plain and simple. We're going to actually stuff the pepper. With the mac and cheese, I'll get my spatula out of there. It is nice and gooey. You can see the nice cheese pull on there. Mm -hmm. And then we just take the mac and cheese. We're going to just spoon it on in. Oh, that is gooey. <laughs> and the kids like it. And it is a little, if it is a little messy, that's okay because it is Halloween. Right. You know, they'll love it. Yeah, we kind of made him look a little like yeah, a mummy, but that's okay. a little okay. bit like a mummy. <laughs> that's what the towels are for. So you get the... The nice gist of it, oh, yeah. you could put a little bit of cheese on top and just put the little top back on. 
And then you got your mac and, and there cheese you have it. jack o' lantern. Yeah. And then as we move forward with the holidays, I know you guys have a little craft show there, right? A Home for the Holidays oh, craft show? Yes, we have a great Home for the Holidays craft show. It's coming in November. It's our first ever Christmas holiday craft show. We have over 35 vendors signed up for it. It's a great event. It's okay. free to the public to come in just to see the wares of DuPage County, King County, and around suburbs. Uh, just a fun event. And Third Street on Geneva is just great for the holidays. Right. Sounds like a great place to get some gifts, get some good eats. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for no being problem. so festive and helping us with a fun idea for the holiday. You, you can check out both locations in Geneva and online at foxfiregeneva.com and cooper-fox.com. We'll post those links on our webpage as well as the recipe that we made today, wgntv.com slash midday. And we'll have the video if you want to show your friends and share it as well. Well, yeah. thank Enjoy you. It. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me.